Hello and welcome to CS4010. In this tutorial, we are going to study a vibration of a structure. And in general, we have the real structure will be in finite degree of freedom system, like this picture. But we cannot study the dynamics of structure this way, so therefore we have to do some assumptions and convert it to finite degree of freedom system, like this building in here. We assume the floor as the masses and the urns and the columns attached to the floor are the springs. And therefore we can write the problem in the matrix form like this. KU plus KD times by U dash plus MU2 dash equal to F. You can simply guess this is the force equilibrium. K is a stiffness time by u, which is a displacement, will be the elastic force. Kd is a damping stiffness, time by the u dash, which is the velocity, will be the damping force. In some book, you can have Kd is written as c, not Kd, but uh, I use Kd here to avoid any confusion. M, which is a mass, time by u2 dash, which is the acceleration. So it's going to be the initial force and sum of them equal to the external force F. Now you have two types of flaws, which the first one is the deformable flaw when it can be deformed when it is too long or maybe made of some elastic material. So in this way, you can have K equal to 3EI over cubic H. And you also can have the rigid floor where it cannot be deformed when it's made of something stiff or maybe it's short or maybe it have a high thickness so therefore EI is much bigger than the EI of the columns attached to this so in this way you can have K equal to 12 EI over cubic H based on those equations you can calculate the stiffness of any columns attached to the floor just have a look at this diagram when you have three blocks and you have many columns attached to this. The first step when you try to build up the matrix of stiffness and matrix of damping stiffness for this building is you need to do analyze a degree of freedom. How many degree of freedom this building can have? Now you can see if this one is one free degree of freedom, this E should be the same because they move together. So we have one degree of freedom, two, three, four, and five. So this building has five degrees of freedom. And there are a lot of columns connecting between them, but you can use the principle of superposition to sum the stiffness of the column connecting between two same masses, like this one, connect between the ground and the mass M1. This one is the same, it's connecting between the ground and mass M1. So we can sum them up, sum all of this six column up to be the first spring. So the schematic diagram should be something like this. The ground is connected with M1 through a spring. M1 connected with M2, M3 and M4 to the spring. Just a small note that if the floor is displayed like a bowl like, like this, so it will be a rigid floor. And when it is displayed like a thin line like this, so it will be a deformable floor. And based on this, you can use the given equation to calculate the stiffness of all springs you need and put into the matrix of stiffness and matrix of damping stiffness like this one. Now, we just try to do a MATLAB code to calculate this matrix of stiffness automatically if you know the connection and the stiffness of the spring between the, the masses. So this is the first half of a tutorial which try to simulate the vibration of structure. So in the first step, I try to set up uh, the stiffness matrix and others. Hmm. 
in the first step i need to know the degree of freedom so i guess n equal to input uh, degree of freedom so this way i just input from the keyboard number of masses or degree of freedom and i have my mass equal to zeros and and this is my mass matrix and i set the coordinate to because x mass could have coordinate to draw later so i have x and y equal to deal zeros of n1 this deal function help me to set the value of x and y to a zero vectors at the same time and i do the small x uh, in purpose so let me set all these vectors and i need the f function for the cyclic external load so i have f equal to zeros of n by 3 so this will be the cyclic force vector I will explain it later. Now, when I already know the degree of freedom, I can start input the parameters. So, for i equal to 1 to n. I don't need the step in here because the step is default by 1. So, I have mass i i equal to input. So it should be input mass of element number i, so num to string of i. So in here I do input mass. And I also have to input x and y. x i equal to input input x value and y I do y capitalize because I'm going to use this value later however the x will change this is the x as equilibrium not the x I will use later so therefore I put it small x input input y So in here, I do input coordinate. And now I also input the external force if there is any. So I just put fi1 equal to input input f0. So I do input cyclic force if there are any and f i2 equal to input input angular velocity so my cyclic force will be in form of f0 times by sine of omega t plus phi where phi is a phase delay angular velocity and f i3 will be the phi so input input phi this will be input phase delay okay and that is now in the next step i'm going to input my matrix of stiffness and damping stiffness so i just declare them first uh, stiffness 
and damping equal to div of zeros n by n. So this one will be set matrix of stiffness and damping stiffness. Okay, now I can just display a reminder before I input. So display zero equal to no connection. Okay. So if I enter zero, that means there is no connection. Now I try to input the connection to the ground first. So for i equal to one to n. I try to input the ground so stiffness i i equal to input from the keyboard stiffness of the connection to ground of element I should convert it so should be num to string of i and just finish this um, I think I need an array to gather all of strings together okay so I input the stiffness and if the stiffness is not zero that means there is a spring so I need to enter the damping stimulus as well. So damping I I equal to input. Now I get damping stiffness of the same spring. So I don't need to show it. Okay. Damping, not damping. <laughs> Sorry for typo. Okay. So that is for the connection to the ground. Now I try to do the connection between masses. So I have to do two for loops. So for i equal to 1 to n minus 1. So this is the first element. And for j equal to i plus 1 to n. So this way I can check the connection between all elements. Now I set k equal to input uh, should be stiffness of the connection between element i and element j <laughs> and I have to use k because I'm going to use this for my calculation later now if k is not zero so if there is any connection between them, uh, I should set the stiffness matrix. So I add the local stiffness of the spring to the global stiffness. Stiffness i i equal to stiffness i i plus k. So in here, I add the local stiffness to the global stiffness matrix okay now I just try to copy this because I need three more to add the whole local matrix to the global matrix so it should be between ii ij ji and jj 
So for i i and j j, I have this will be plus k. But for i j and j i, I should have this one should be minus k. Yep. And now, because there is a spring, so I should check for the damping. So k equal to input damping stiffness. I know which element I'm working with, so I don't need to show it again. Okay, now I have damping i i equal to damping i i plus k. And I just copy it and I did with my stiffness. And this one should be i j j i. JJ and the same to the one I have before. I have to change the size for IJ and JI. Yep, you can use different variable to avoid confusion, but because I don't use K anymore, so I can set it as a new parameters. And I think that is for me. Let's add a um, notation over here. Add as a local damping stiffness to the global. Yep. Now just try to run this one if there is no mistake. Yep. So I don't see any mistake yet. Just try to have it. I test my my test will have two degree of freedom. Mass of L1 could be one tone x will be 0, y will be 0, f will be 0. My mass tool, for example, 500 kg. x is 0, but y is 10. And I don't have any force. Now, connection to the ground of the first floor should be, for example, uh, 1 million. And my damping stiffness should be 10, for example. And the steepness connection to ground is zero because it's second level. And between them is one million as well. And the damping steepness, for example, will be 20. So you can see here, I have my result. So for my damping, I have this one 30 because you have to add up 10. That's okay. For my Steepness. I have this one should be 2 million minus 1 million. I think this is on hood to me. So this is the first step. You can try with more complicated diagram to test as a code. And after that, we can use the calculated matrices to get to the second half when we try to simulate the vibration of structure. Thank you very much for your attention and see you next time.